What's going on guys? Welcome back to Whiskey Dixon. I'm Sugar Bear. And I'm Kurt. And we're reviewing Glendronach 18 year Highland single malt scotch whiskey. Good shit. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Comes in at 46%. Non-chill filtered, no color added. Barely at the end of this one, but yeah. uh, I needed I needed to review it with you before I finished it. We need closure. It's one of my favorite bottles I've ever had. It's, it's damn impressive. Um, it's, yeah, it, it's it's really more expensive every... than normal drink, but yeah, it's I mean, a special 18, occasion one. Yeah, it's not cheap. It's wonderful. Everything from Glendronach is outstanding. I don't think we've reviewed a Glendronach on the show yet. This is we're starting off with like a really good one, um, but really everything from this distillery is really top notch especially for like that space side sherry style i actually think clendronach and maybe like Aberlauer are the two best i actually think like there's a couple really standout sherry finish whiskey distilleries that focus kind of exclusively on that style and i think that this is one of the best examples so uh, yeah, love this one yeah let's, let's pour it up so you can, you can kill it clendronach it's 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 thin well we got enough for a review here so Glendronach means Valley of the Brambles in Gaelic. And it's, I think it's actually the easternmost Kill that thing. Go a little more distillery Go more in Scotland. <laughs> it's interesting. It comes from kind of right where, like anything past, anything farther east than Glendronach, they can't really grow barley. So you don't see distilleries in that part of Scotland. This is kind of one of the only ones in that that's sort of northeastern part of Scotland. Um, it's matured entirely in an Oloroso sherry cask. 18, 18 years, years straight sherry. sherry cask. So them and McCallum yeah, are the only color. people that do that, as far as I know. That's, There's a few others, but yeah, for the most that's part, that's pretty serious. So yeah, exclusively aging something in a sherry cask that's going to be oh, just rich with dark fruit. And, the color on that, nice and dark. It's so good. Oh, <laughs> on the nose. Oh man, so much. so much like sweet, intensely charred sherry note. Like really like just vanilla. There's a hint of like a fruit, smokiness to not peat, like wood smoke. Yeah. Oh, intense vanilla. Raisin, cinnamon. It's it's just so much thicker and fuller of all of those sherry flavors that you'd want. It's it's wonderful. It's one of my favorites. It's like chewing on a, like, <laughs> like fruit leather from Safeway while smoking a cigarette at the same time. Oh, that is dense. I don't know anything else that just coats your mouth that and is stays insane. the same. You don't need to, you don't need to keep drinking it. You just take a sip and it's there for like 20 minutes. It's still go, like, it's <laughs> still, I'm in the middle of it right now. Like, it's chocolate, milk chocolate, dark chocolate dates figs every every dry dark fruit you can imagine is going on in here um oh man it's so good i'm just, just happy to be more. here drinking it i don't even Dude, want to that talk. is yeah <laughs> that's that's a, that's like too good um oh man yeah it's just it's so full so thick Tiny sips will, will linger and last. This is like it's still going. Like it's it's nuts. Is, yeah, it's it's incredible. If you haven't if you haven't tried this one before, it's not very common. But get it. It's not special cheap. occasion. If you like sherried, if you like nice age statement sherried, this is oh, yeah, this is like this the is up there. The jewel of of your collection. If you buy this, this is one of the best whiskeys <sighs> on the market right now. I've had um, it for so long. I was just scared to even finish it. I just it's one of those where it's like you. You, you burn through half of it and it's incredible and then you're scared to finish it because oh, yeah. it's so good and uh, I'm gonna have to get another one in the near future I've Nuts. had it on my shelf for so long now oh. oh man that's rich it's not cheap though that's like rich. I said uh, it comes in 160 to like 200 range probably so I've heard this called like a, a poor man's, what is it, a poor man's Macallan, Macallan M. M. Yeah, that's. The Whiskey Vault guys did I don't know what Macallan M tastes like. I don't have that kind of money. They uh, said this was the closest thing to Macallan M that they had tried. And then 
I'm just gonna believe them yeah. for now, cause like I said, never had McCall and M. Um, oh. This is, so, uh, this is mind blowing. It's very. There's so much, nice. so much going on with this. Oh. It's so long. It's so long. It's longer than like older whiskeys I've had than this. And I think yeah. that's because just pure. Sugar. I think you tried this right when I bought it, right? I think so. And it was good, but it wasn't as good as like it was a oh, little. The last bit is always. You, the you know, you had to let it breathe it's for a breathing. bit right when yeah. you got it. And the second half of this bottle has been just probably the best whiskey I've ever had. It's it's just great. Phenomenal, <laughs> phenomenal stuff. Everything from Glendronach is. Um, oh. Yeah, this is called the Allardis, or Allardis, not sure how to pronounce it, release. Allardice. Uh, it's the last name of the founder, John Allardis. Um, each of them has kind of a different, there's like the 15 is the revival, the 12 is just Glendronach 12, I don't think that one's got a name. Um, and then the 21 is called like Parliament, I think. I'm going to have to get me on that this one. and the revival. I, the first Glendronach I had was, you got me the revival once, it was great. Oh, the green? And I didn't even realize oh, how dude. great it was until it was almost gone. And oh, then I was like, "That's one of the like, best 15 years." It's incredible. But uh, this, I would almost go as far as to say, is like the best 18 year. This is as 18 year whiskeys go. This is. Yeah. Um. I mean, the most comparable one I'd say like the is champion. the the Macallan 18 year. I've had that one. It's about a hundred dollars more, and I think this is better. So. Yeah. Uh, no. Yeah. 100. percent 100%. The Calum 18 for 288 you're getting, bucks. You're, you're actually getting glad the I correct tr- value out Yeah, of glad I tried it, but this is absolutely more worth the value. Okay. And I'll, I'll revisit this again. This is, this is I'd say, worth it. It's one of the only ones that's actually worth that price tag. the longest price tag. finishes of any whiskey. It's so thick. Oh. Delightful. Yeah. Um, I guess that about wraps it up. That, any, that's it, man. Yeah, it's I just want I just want to enjoy this. Wonderful. And stop talking to you people. So uh, so sad to see this go. If you like this, <laughs> subscribe to the channel. Give us a thumbs up. Smash that like button. Let us know what else we should be reviewing. We'll review more Glendronach stuff in the future. They're one of my favorite distilleries for sure, Absolutely. actually. Um, and until next time, <sighs> cheers. Slant- uh, I'm Sugar Bear. I'm Kurt. That's Kurt. I'm still. Cheers. Slantra. Keep on drinking. Goodbye, old friend. Thank mm-hmm. you.